What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Quick Response Fishing. I'm Patrick Quick and today I'm going over the Dick's Sporting Goods finds that I have and the CS lures I talked about last video. Um, I'm also going to show off a few more of the lures that I've made. Um, been doing that in between recording these videos, still getting things ready. Um, this camera is actually now stuck onto a tripod so I'm going to be able to film the um, painting process when I do that. So let me move this Dix bag out of the way, set it down here for a second, and uh, move a couple lures that I have on top of the box and show off some of these here. So this here is one of my favorites. This is the Jinx. That purple, white, and black. It's got a little dust on there from that box it's in. Really like the way this one came out. Gonna be painting more in that style. Um, here's a couple rattle traps that I don't have clear coated. Uh, this one still needs the gills put on it. This is my cutthroat crappie pattern and I did it on a lipless. Really like the way that turned out. And I actually kind of like the, the lighting how it is now too, like where I'm sitting. Uh, that's why the kitchen where I usually record, um, it looks different with the counter behind me and stuff like that. The lighting actually looks better here. I figured something out for the time being why I'm waiting for studio lights to come to the uh, house floor, the basement, to get the studio finalized and set up the correct way. But going back to lures, here is another, like basically just like a tiger pattern that I did in the lipless. This is definitely going to be a river, river hunter for pike. Uh, let's see here. Got the uh, cutthroat copy and a spook. One knock spook. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to show off? Uh, let's let's show off one of these, or all three of them since they're stuck together. Uh, we got cutthroat crappie. Um, one of the original styles where I was actually hand doing the little blotches and stuff like that before I actually found a fabric that I liked for the actual pattern. Um, here we have like a, it's kind of like a jinx but with a little bit more of the spotting on this one. And then this is the color changing monster called the changeling. I did one of those in there. I don't know if you can see the purple and purple to blue effect it has. It's a really, really easy paint to do. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's do these because I like the way these look too. This is Red Alert. This is one of the first ones I ever painted. It is just red over clear, no primers. Red Alert Shad. I like the way it turned out. The red kind of bled. But that's okay. I kind of like the effect that it gave. This one here is one of my absolute favorites. This is the Jinx pattern. Um, and these are little Dollar General uh, gem eyes. And when the clear coat goes over it, they turn around and look chrome. So instead of buying like expensive chrome eyes, like 10, 10 pairs or whatever for $5, I got a whole sheet of like 3,000 gemstones for $5, and I get the same awesome effect. And that actually was um, something I learned from Amy from Crank Honey Customs. If you haven't checked her channel out, go ahead and give a look at her live paintings that she does. She does some really awesome work. She did one that looks like a strawberry. It was really, really cool. And then here is another cutthroat crappie in the coffin bill. I really love this pattern that I created. It's got that iridescent flash to it. It's just, it's, it's so good, it's so good. I don't know, I'm so proud of that one, if you can't tell. <clears throat> and then here is a little play on Jinx, but with the color shifting, well, it's not really, it's not really color shifting. I didn't do color shift, or maybe I did. I did a little color shift on the top, but then there's also another um, 
like paint that I picked up where it just has like this speckling and it's like rainbow kind of iridescent. Um, it doesn't do any color shift. It's just a bunch of like rainbow type of glitter inside this uh, paint that goes over and you can see it a lot better on black. I actually don't have one that shows that as much. Here's an S crank and cutthroat crappie. I mean, I did a whole set of like every lure I could think of in the cutthroat crappie because I just wanted to see how good it looked. And then here's a changeling. I put a little stinger hook on there. If you don't remember that Yozuri, um, crawfish lure that I found at uh, Walmart. It's a long time ago video, last year sometime, like one of the very first ones. That lure got stuck to another soft plastic and the two plastics didn't like each other so it actually severed off the, the claw. So I just took that hook off of that because it's very sharp and I put it on there. And I want to see how it acts. I've never seen like the, the little two stinger looking uh, hook on a crankbait. So I went ahead and did it on there. But those are some of the ones that I've done. I've got a lot of other cool ones that I'm going to show off. Um, I got a bluegill pattern. If you want to see that one, you can follow me on Instagram at Patrick underscore quick 2100. I also post a lot of these on there before um, you'll see them on camera ever. So let's go ahead and get into this dicks bag before I forget about it because I'm super excited about what I'm doing with my lures. So we'll start off with the uh, CS lures. Got a couple different designs here. These here are made in Illinois. And this one is the CS Lure Spinorama. This is a musky lure and Northern Pike. This is a twin number seven Colorado blade. And it is in the um, Fire Tiger Swirl is what they call that. This one here is a spinner bait. I like this one too. Uh, these are newer to me. Um, the spinner ramas I've seen. This one in the shop is fairly new. I didn't see these in the shop until recently. So uh, really excited to get this out there and try. I'm gonna be putting the six cent stinger hook on the back of this one and fishing that coming up this year. And then here is a smaller version of the spinner rama. It's not a double blade, it's just a single blade. This is the smaller ones that I would be using in the creek. And I'm super excited to get this out there. That purple and black is sick. They have caught me awesome amounts of fish. Um, this one in particular, there is a spinorama that's like this with a single blade that is like half the size of this one. And in that fire tiger swirl, I caught my biggest pike of 48 inches. I was in a paper um, for that one, uh, back in like 2014 or something like that. I caught my second largest pike on that lure. I caught bass on that lure. I caught my very first walleye on that lure. I caught big crappie on that lure. I caught a pound bluegill on that lure. <laughs> it was crazy the amount of fish. These, these spinoramas are so versatile and multi-species. Um, I can't wait to actually fish them this year too, to show off how good those are. So with those out of the way, let's get into the dick sporting goods. These are all things I got on sale. And uh, yeah, so I got a cross eyes chatterbait, Z-Man, 3 8 ounce and black and blue. Uh, I think originally it was 10 something and I got it for $7.97. So really awesome. Then I got these TRD, basically everything else is Z-Man. Uh, everything was Z-Man actually. They had like a, a sale on Z-Man and I paid $3.47 for each one of these packs. They had them marked down in price. And I think the original price is like $4.99 or something like that. But we got California Crawl Bang Sticks. 
And this is that elastic. I mean, those things have life. The bang stick has like a little tube tickler end on the back of it. Cool little action when it's down there in the water or even as a wacky rig, just kind of like something to like come up and come from the side and grab it because it looks a little bit different. So, I like saving a little bit of money and the Z-Man products, I don't have very many of them and this Elastec stuff is known to be super durable and they can last many, many bites. The next thing I'm going to show you is the Molten, molten Craw, TRD Craws. I mean, look at, look at the, the glitter in there. You got blue, red, gold, and black, and that like tiny little orange belly, and then that browner top. Kind of looks like it came out of a forge. It's really, really cool looking. And then even these little dudes, super, super stretchy. I can't wait to get these in the creek. Then we have some turd bugs in black and blue. Here's the little turd bugs. Split that right there. Reminds me of a prawn from Six Sense. Super durable. I mean, it's, I'm not gonna go too extreme with it because I don't want to rip one, but yeah. I like testing it out to see how much it, it goes, but I don't want to overdo it. But I haven't even got to try these out yet. Then we have some black and blue TRD Cross. That's what they look like. The black and blue stretchiness. My problem that I have when I go to Dick's, oh, I moved the camera, I'm sorry about that everybody. The problem I have with Dick's is when I go, I always miss the BOGOs. They have the stickers on them, like you see the green sticker on here, and like they're marked down, and I always miss those sales. So what I ended up getting was the clearance when they were getting rid of the stuff that they had on the sale, go down in price or whatever, they were on like an end cap, and they were the only ones there. Um, so. At least I found something for once at Dick's that was on sale that I actually wanted to pick up and grab. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the Baby Goat and Okeechobee Craw. And this one is really cool. I can see this working on multiple things. Um, and actually, the reason I grabbed this is because I kind of want to put it on the back of a chatterbait. Like one of those little thunder crickets that I have, the black and blue ones. Um, or you could just swim it because it's got these little tails on here. Ned rig, there's like so much, but like the, the look of this is just so cool. It's, it's different. Little, looks like little knuckle dusters, little brass knuckles with spikes. Reminds me of Black Chrysanthemum uh, from Star Wars. Which, if you haven't seen the Book of Boba, I recommend you to go check it out. They're actually bringing him uh, into the show, so you'll get to know who I'm talking about. If you read the comics, you already know who he is. He's just basically like a bigger, badder version of Chewbacca, and he's a bounty hunter that was a glad gladiator and like won everything. I could go on and on about Star Wars. I think I, no, I moved it. I think in a video before, my kids and I were playing Star Wars and I had a Kylo Ren uh, lightsaber on the counter back there um, and of course you know Vader I have a number one dad Vader shirt love Star Wars don't want to get off into ranting about it though so as always thanks for sticking with me and I will catch you all later actually before I do that if you haven't consider subscribing please leave a like and leave comments what do you think of the sales that I have and what did you think of those CS lures? Would you fish those? Um, maybe I can pick some up and put them in a giveaway. Which, well, speaking of giveaways, I made a mystery box. And uh, if we can get to 200 subs, I will do another giveaway. And the mystery box has some pretty good stuff in there. So, yeah. And also the 1,000 subscribers. If we can tell our friends and our neighbors and everybody and try to help me get going up there in numbers, 
the 1000 uh, subscriber mystery box has a lot of stuff in there. I'm actually going to be throwing in some of those six cents jugular hooks since I bought two packs of the five odds. I'm going to put some of those in there too. So you have some upgraded terminal tackle, like some better stuff in there. There's a lot of good stuff in there and I keep adding to it. So yeah, now as always, thanks for sticking with me and I will catch you all later.